When the atmosphere is unstable, a sky full of sunshine can quickly become dark and threatening at the drop of a hat, and suddenly your outdoor activity is interrupted by this sound. The outdoor warning sirens are meant to alert those that are engaged in outdoor activities. These individuals are more at risk to severe weather and therefore need to be alerted to seek shelter immediately. The outdoor warning sirens, again, aren't meant for those that are indoors, but if you are indoors, you could possibly hear the sirens based on where you live in relation to a siren or conditions that are present outdoors at that time. Flower Mound's outdoor warning sirens are activated when one or more of the following three weather events are confirmed. Tornado warning, hail greater than an inch and a quarter in diameter, and straight line winds in excess of 70 miles per hour. The sirens will produce a steady tone for three minutes. So when the sirens activated for a severe weather event, it'll have a steady tone for three minutes. However, the siren head rotates and projects in a 360 degree radius. And so while people are hearing the siren, it'll sound like the tone is coming and going, whereas it's actually a steady tone. According to Barth, it's important to understand the difference between the outdoor warning sirens and lightning detectors. You can find lightning detectors at a lot of the larger town parks as well as all of the Louisville Independent School District campuses in town. They go off when they detect lightning within a certain mile radius. These go off pretty frequently during storms and people confuse them a lot with the outdoor warning sirens. Flower Mound currently has 19 sirens placed strategically throughout the town. This is an increase of eight over the last year when we had about 11. So we've expanded our coverage area quite significantly. We have additional plans to expand the network even more as the west end of town continues to build out. Uh, but currently we were working on a lot of the existing infrastructure and building out the network there. And while we're expanding the outdoor warning siren network, we ask that people that are engaged in outdoor activities use common sense, keep an eye on the weather, keep an eye on the radar apps on their phone, and, and just be aware that you know, conditions can change rapidly. Simply stay informed about the town's severe weather plan and you'll always be prepared.